what's going on, GMC family? What's going on with y'all, man? So, hey, man, we got another GMC vehicle video, okay? And, uh, you know, this is my car, big girl. If it's the first time you're seeing her. Right? And then we're going to get on the road. So, y'all go ahead and check out big girl, right? As y'all can see, Safari right there. And we got the the Rouse Charge. That's, that's what it's saying. So, you know, if anybody come across this video that know that, put it down in the comment section because I don't know what Rouse Charge mean. Okay. But let me just tell y'all some things I'm thinking about getting changed. I saw one of y'all with some wheels because these is hubcaps right here. You heard that? I want to change. I want to change my lights out right here. Um, I want to get this changed out right here. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep this because you know it just brings that that umph to that, that umph to it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's big girl. In my first video, uh, I showed. I didn't show y'all how to change this, but if y'all want to know how to change this, because I uh, it was icy. Okay, we just came out of an ice storm, ice, a freeze out situation. Uh, it was 70 degrees and flash floods, and then the next day it turned 20 degrees and everything was froze. Okay, one of them days, uh, you know, I spun out because of the ice and then I uh, hit a pole and then broke this glass, man. So I had to put it in myself. I went to the junkyard to go get it. But in this video, we're going to be uh, saying, how does big girl drive okay as a 99 gmc safari okay now this is comparable to all your other gmc vehicles okay and your chevy astros okay so let's go ahead and see how she drives we about to get on the road in a little bit y'all when i was editing this video it said that this particular clip that should have followed after was unsupported resolution so it's about to skip forward past that. Um, so yeah. A real bad situation, you understand? Um, Y'all notice like the camera quality between the two from the front to the, uh, the face camera on this thing? That's because the, the one on the front, uh, it got cracked. So, you know, when we get this channel popping, y'all start liking the videos, getting them up to like 100 likes. Video, man, that camera quality gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? That camera quality gonna go up. But yeah, man, as you can see, um, actually, as you can see, like I got that stuff in the back. I got this van as kind of like a camper van, to where I can, I can, you know, sleep and live out of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Since I do a lot of fishing during the summertime, I never know what can happen. And sometimes I just don't feel like going all the way back home after work. So, you know, I got this <laughs> boy situated. You know, I got plenty of covers, even for this cold weather. Uh, sleeping bag back there. I got a, a six gallon thing of water right here. I'll show y'all the interior because uh, I gotta get it together in here. It's kinda um, out of whack. But I can show y'all in the upcoming video the interior of this. But yeah, that's why I'm saying, like, I wanna, now that I got the inside, cause I'm a simple man, so I got a simple setup back here. You know what I'm saying? If y'all wanna see, a, you know, how a woman decorates the interior of the, the van light vans and shit, you know, y'all you can, can go to uh, one of their channels. You know, I ain't got all that. I'm not gonna be in this van forever, you know what I'm saying? But I am gonna keep a van that's capable of, you know, doing, you know, some shit like this. Like where if I go off somewhere and I don't feel like, you know, going here or going there, I'm sleepy as hell, boom, I can just go to the fucking back. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, for me, I love that type of lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I be saving a lot of money from that aspect uh, like 
uh, I got two YouTube channels. This one I got monetized. Uh, my other one, I'm a master teacher of attraction. That one is uh, on its way up too. We got the subscribers where it need to be, but we just gotta get the watch time up there. But it is it's going up. We gonna get we gonna get that soon. But you know, I'm basically in this van to increase, uh, keep most of my money. And I did this strategically around tax season because I'm going to use the money that I save for not using a whole bunch of gas. And because uh, this, the, that's another thing about uh, GMC Safaris, right? Uh, the gas mileage is pretty good in these engines. It's not just me, but the other people that have these vans, or at least got one that somebody, you know, at least changed the oil in it. Um, they're decent. They are decent, man. Decent. Got enough power. It's a V6. Um, I forgot the name of it, man. I be getting confused with other, other uh, engines. But, you know, whatever engine you put in, whatever engine it is, it is good. You know what I'm saying? I say it's up there with the damn 97 Corolla. Because that was the first car that I started driving in. Uh, you know, I still love that 97 Corolla, man. I still, I don't care, I have a million dollars, man. I have a 97 bro. That motherfucker pimped out, you understand? That's just me. But, um, yeah, man, it's 2020. We trying to get things popping from all aspects. I'm not trying to work a job for So, you got to be willing to do what others want to get where others, to get where you. It's, it goes something like that. But, basically, you going to get chose before you got got though. Right. Um, but yeah, man, as y'all can see, big girl rides smooth. You know what I'm saying? I told you I got to, uh, I, I must have hit some ice on this expressway or something. And uh, um, did two 360s, man, off the uh, expressway. You know, this frame on this van is so solid, man. That's the only reason I'm here to able to still do videos for y'all, man. This van, okay, and uh, the steel frame of it, it's crazy. It's crazy. You can see it, all the snow melting off back there. It's supposed to be in the 40s today. But, um, yeah, man. I love, I love GMC Safaris. You know what I'm saying? Um... Chevy Astro vans, man. They're just so... You know, you got some pretty good gas, man. Like, um... A whole tank. So I've done, you know, back-to-back -back road trips in this mug. I got the van when it was, um... 160... 160,000 miles or somewhere around that. And, um... I've been doing Grubhub, DoorDash for one period of time. Um, and it's gotten through all of that, man. Like a peach, man. Like a peach. I love this, man. I really do. I love this GMC Safari, man. You know? Um, and I would, you know, I would think the Chevy Astro is pretty much the same. Because like, when I go to the junkyard for parts, um, I just... Um, like if a Chevy Astro there, I just go to the Chevy Astro and pull the part off because it's literally pretty much the same thing. All the parts, I I got brakes in the front that I put on. Uh, cause I'm I, I, I I'm really good with vehicles. Uh, I've been working on cars though since I got the '97 Corolla. That was, you know, when I was shit. 17. I'm 25 now, so I've been working on my cars. I had a, and then the car I had after that was a Chrysler Sabring, and that really put into perspective uh, the quality compared to between the 97 Corolla and this vehicle. Them Chryslers, man, I'm never gonna make a YouTube channel based around them. Them cars is just made to look good, but not get far. You know what I'm saying? 
that shit was crazy. It was, it was a, you know, it looked nice. It was a affordable uh, 2004 Chrysler Saber, white and black top. You know what I'm saying? We used to call that mud Oreo. But hey, man, Oreo took that L. But what started happening was first the transmission started just ripping out of nowhere. So you know that was some cheap shit. And um, it was a solenoid that got replaced in there. And then the uh, cooling. Oh my gosh, the cooling was having so much fucking issues. I was literally I took out the old. Like the thermostat got changed, the um, the uh, coolant reservoir was having issues. It wasn't holding the, the the cap wasn't holding the pressure and shit, man. And then I changed out the whole reservoir, got a whole nother cap, and then the um there's a weep hole connected to some part, I forget the name of the part, but if y'all know what a weak hole is, it's connected to that, it was dripping from that, and then, you know, that costed, you know, $1,500, man, I'm like, man, I'm not fucking with that, so, you know, I drove that motherfucker until it can't drive no more, then one day, I was trying to turn the engine over, and it, it, it just wouldn't turn on, so I just, I gave that motherfucker to the junkyard, man, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, man. I was able to uh, go to the job I had at that point in time. So, you know, during that time, it was like I was going through like a little slight depression, and um, because I wasn't able to work. It was during the winter time, so I stayed in the house a lot, man. And then that's when I had went through an eviction. And uh, I had to move in with my mom. And after that point in time, or around, around that point in time, that's when I started wearing a Walmart for the first time up in Illinois before I moved down here. And uh, I was riding my bike 10 miles to work to at Walmart overnight and 10 miles back. And I do that five to six days out of now, I'm telling you, I saved my bread up, man. I was been my money. Shit. I was just buying food, water. Food, water, and a little bit of clothes, man. Because I had left a lot of my clothes after that eviction. So, um, yeah, I was doing that back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, legs getting swollen up like a mug. Um, and then after that, I had, um, saved up my money. So I was looking through Facebook marketplace, right? And I saw this van. I was looking every day, every day. I was looking at some Chevys, not Chevy Astros, but some Vannas, um, um, Ford Ecoline. You know what I'm saying? But they was playing games. But I, when I came across Big Girl, man, he was talking about, man, look, we usually use this as a work van at the shop. And, uh, you know, we we lended it over to our grand, uh, their grandma. And we've been keeping up on everything. You know what I'm saying? They get the maintenance done. It was from a car shop. And that was their uh, one of their work vans. And... Uh, yeah, man. I was like, damn. So they they've been maintaining that motherfucker. They only got one hundred sixty thousand miles on it. Wow. And they only wanted uh twelve hundred, twelve hundred G. So I was like, man. I grabbed my cash that I had. I had to wait one more week to get that twelve hundred. But I, I kid you not, man. When I got my money that day, Uber. Um, <laughs> I might have to edit that shit out. Let's see. <laughs> uh, but I called an Uber, man. And uh, it was the morning time. We get off at 7 a.m., right? And I got off at the stop on the pace bus. And then at McDonald's, 
that's why I got off, right? And then I went and got me something to eat. Because I wasn't, that's usually when I'm about to go to sleep. Because I've been up for a long time. But I said, you know, forget all that stuff. I'm going to go get Big Girl. Because Big Girl was like about 40 miles away. So, you know, I took a little bit of that cash that I had saved up. Paid the Uber like $40, $50 to get out there. Um, but yeah, after I ate at McDonald's, you know, called up the Uber. Uber came. Drop me off. Uh, I think it was Darien, Illinois. Deerfield or something. I remember a deep being in front of it, but um, got out there, man. Big girl was sitting there running and shit. You know, I checked out. You know, everything was checking out. Everything was checking out, man. The heat worked. The air conditioner worked. The tires looked good. Um, the brakes were good. Uh, no dripping oil and shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, the only thing that I noticed, um, somebody didn't put the uh, brake fluid cap back on, right? So that let some air in. So my um, rear uh, brake lines that started rusting out and uh, it created a hole where it's dripping out the fluid. So I took all the old rusted brake lines out in the back, put some new ones in, and man, we've been riding like a dream ever since. We've been riding like a dream. And what I did with those, I got some uh, rubber coating and sprayed it last winter. Um, yeah, man, and we've been we've been doing real good, real good, man. And you know, we've been all over the place out here fishing. And, you know, through all the road trips and all that stuff, man. Um, Big Girl has, you know, started every time. Had no issues as far as anything else, man. And uh, I really appreciate, like, the way that I was able to get this van and put in all that hard work. And then Big Girl just showed up in my life, man. That's why I call her Big Girl, man. She came to save my life, man. Because, you know, I was getting drained from riding my bike 10 miles to, to work and then 10 miles back. That's 20 miles a day, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. It was getting to the point I wanted to stack up so much bread. You know, I wasn't eating enough and I was doing all that, that work. And it was overnight, too, so my sleeping was off all that. You know what I'm saying? But I had, I, you know, I wanted a damn car van at that, because I didn't want to be in that situation where motherfucker could say, um, you know, we, we just going to kick you out, because my car broke down and I couldn't get to work, you know what I'm saying, so that's a part of me, you know, and where I'm coming from, just in case people ask, like, why you got that stuff in the back, I stay in this van sometimes, you know what I'm saying, that's why I'm trying to pimp it out. So, uh, and, you know, I wanted to do the, this thing because content and data is one of the number one products when it comes from a position of entrepreneur, entrepreneur products that you give out to the masses, you know what I'm saying? So, that's why I made this channel, that's why I got the other channel, that's why I'm doing a few other things and getting those off the ground. Okay? So, um, talk to y'all when we get to the destination let y'all know how how the drive was all right so we made it you know what i'm saying and you know again that was about a 40 mile drive and that was about a 40 mile drive you know what i'm saying we we made it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna let y'all get one more look one more look one more look you see i gotta get that changed out right there too so y'all, y'all let me know down in the comments like what kind of like lighting styles I should put right there. You know what I'm saying? So I was talking about that. And this about the really the only rust on here. A lot of them have them. And then what else I'm trying to do? I'm trying to get these lights changed out. So let me know about that too. You know what I'm saying? Let me back out a little bit so y'all can see. And then this one right here, um, that one right there is cool. 
But I'm still gonna get the chains out. I just ain't gonna have to change out one. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, that's big girl. I'm trying to get the rims done. So y'all let me know what else, man. But um, that's that. I'm about to go get something to eat. And then I'm about to go to the gym. Um, so I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.